And, uh, so I just want to say thank you to my, to the subscribers who did reach out and send out your prayers. I appreciate it. I just feel like I just feel so broken. I'm like down to nothing. I just want to quit. It's like the only thing that's keeping me from taking my own life is the fact that I want to see God one day. It's the only thing. I have to come to YouTube because I don't have anybody in my corner. That's just how I feel. I don't feel like, you know, anybody understands what it is to be a mother and not have support and want the best for your children and just feel like a total failure. Like everything that I put out for my children and that I try to do for my children. It's like I'm tired of the devil just trying to steal everything that I do. I'm just at a low point right now. And, you know, I just, this is just me being real, you know. I don't know what's going to happen after today. But this is just me being real. One thing that everybody will be able to say is that I kept it 100. Like, that I was honest with who I am. You know, the mom that I try to be. You know, the wife I try to be. Just, you know, sometimes it just gets so hard. And you look around and there's really nobody there. Like nobody you know you know just not having the moral support because people don't care anymore like that's why the world is in shambles because the truth of the matter is people don't really care you know back in the days people were active they wouldn't just tell you from around the corner i'll pray for you or um it'll be okay but you never see them or they only pop up when it's time to celebrate you know like this is the day and time we live in it, you know, the spirit of the, the spirit, you know, of depression, the spirit of, you know, of just despondency and despair. It's out there, you know, and people are struggling every day. And because of how the world is, they want us to focus on the materialistics. They want us to focus on driving a fancy car and, 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 and having the big house and things for show. But don't you know that those are the most messed up people? They have no time for God. They have no time for others. Everything is based on worldly gain and they have no eternal conscience, no conscience of who God really wants them to be or who God really wants them to help, you know, and it's hard because I realize who God placed me in this world to be, and that's why the enemy is fighting me. And then I have people around me who claim that they're saved, who claim that they believe in God, but they're not real. You understand? They only want to be around when it's time to celebrate, or when it's a holiday, or, 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 or stuff like that. But when it's time to get down and dirty and down in the trenches, they're nowhere to be found. When it gets to the point where you don't want to call on nobody, you just, you know, like, how I'm, how I'm here. This is how I'm venting. Because God only knows if I couldn't. You know how many Christian counselors I called? Never got a phone call back. I have insurance. Never got a phone call back. Been waiting to talk to somebody. And, you know, it's crazy. Like, it's crazy the world and time that we live in. And the only thing I can say is that I know that every tear I shed, God sees it. I know that every time I feel like ending it all, he sends me a word. Because God knows, as God is, God knows, I have a heart. I don't care what nobody says. My heart has been refined by the fire. And I know that I'm a good person. And it's not a matter of being a good person. But I am a godly person. I try my best 
to 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 live out what God wants me to live out, especially now being a mother and having seven children. You know, like I'm overwhelmed. I have a son who's getting ready to be 18 on Saturday. I, when I brought him into this world, I only wanted the best for him. I never wanted him to experience anything of what I experienced or nothing. And it seems like everything that he's going through, he's going through the hurts and the pains, and you know, like the devil is trying to break him down. And, 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 and I see what's happening. And so I'm here and it's hurting me as a mother. It's breaking me down because when you want the best for your children, and I understand we have to pray for our children and let them go, but I want the best for mine. I've been with my children since they were babies. I breastfed my children and, 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 and tried to be there for them. And so, you know, now that they're getting older and stuff, you know, I, I just wish that I could protect them from everything that the devil tries to bring up against them. And it hurts me because I know that it's a spiritual battle. And, you know, and the Bible says, it says where, where two or more are gathered in my name, you know, one could put a thousand to flight, two, ten thousand. Where are the true warriors? Like I, I shouldn't feel like this. When my grandparents died, when my grandparents died, it was like something, like it was a void in me. Because I watched them be there for their children. I watched them be there for their grandchildren. You know, the, 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 my mother and aunts and uncles, they had somebody to fall back on. And those are the very same people who are too bougie now, who are so selfish and, 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 and act like they stuff don't stink. And you don't want them around you because you, you don't want them judging you or looking down on you. And because of the respect I have for adults and respect I have for my elders, I don't put people in their place. I just stay away from them because I don't want to have to tell pe these people about themselves. Because I'm trying to p keep a pure heart. I don't want to tell these people who are walking around forgetting where they came from. They have a form of godliness but deny its power. I don't want those type of people around me. Because it grieves my spirit. So now here I am in my car, parked somewhere, venting to YouTube. I'd rather talk to a stranger or somebody who does not know me. To understand the real. I'm not out here trying to be pretty. When you live for God, it's, you gonna, it's gonna be an ugly situation sometimes. But you know, ho hopefully I can reach somebody to help somebody else understand. You're not the only one going through it. There's, there's other people out here going through it. And you know what? Do prayer and do strength and do encouragement and just a personal walk with God. Because being that we're in the last days, it has to be a personal walk because people's hearts are growing cold. You know, I'm not a perfect person, but I love God with everything I have. And I'm so grateful. And the reason why I love him is because one, the unconditional love. Two, he looks at the heart. He doesn't look at our flesh. Us as humans, even me, I hate people for certain things that they do. And then I have to ask God to please help me. I'm constantly in my mind, God, please help me. I hate this person. I despise this person for what they did to me and what they do. But please help me. That's why I'm sitting here and I'm crying and I'm upset. Because this spiritual battle is real. Don't let these, these Sunday morning Christians fool you. The spiritual battle and a spiritual walk is not pretty it's not a big hat on sunday and a suit on sunday and your bible under your arm on wednesday for prayer and bible study that's not what it is it is raw down in the trenches ugly you're gonna have your good days because the bible even says joy comes in the morning you're gonna have your days but a real walk with god shows sometimes it shows and what I'm saying is that you'll have a testimony. Because when people see you and you give your story, they're going to say, you went through that? You don't even look like you went through a day of that. But I'm just here to be real. I'm here to be real. I'm here to, 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 to let other people know, like, listen, if you really for living for God, don't feel like, oh, my God, what did I do? Uh, 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 what did I, what have I done? Lord, uh, forgive me for this. No, the devil is going to fight you tooth and nail because he hates you as a person because you are going where he will never get a chance to be. So his job is to get you to quit, to get you to look at your circumstances, to get you to say, I want to end it all and I want to take my life because there's nothing here. Because he knows that we need to be those lights. This is a dark place 
and he we need to be those specks of light throughout this earth because somebody needs this and even though it's hurting me at least it's if it's birthing pains so be it but let it help somebody else because you know what god one day god my, my child might be going through something spiritually it's still like they can't talk to me and they'll go to a youtube channel and see somebody being real and seeing that somebody went through something and that they got through something and that they could make it but anyway I appreciate those who come to the channel who even listen. And if you drop a prayer for me, I appreciate it. Um, thank you so much for watching.